Well, I think every Silicon Valley company knows about the power and size of the education market. You just look at what Apple is doing with the iPad right now. And for Facebook, Emily, here's an opportunity to change the conversation from Facebook the connector to Facebook the learning tool. 24 teams, 24 apps, three winners. HackEd brings together Facebook and the Gates Foundation for their second hackathon aimed at building educational apps on the social network's platform. It's about hacking education and building social applications and social tools to get kids on a pathway to college and keep them there. Today's hackers, about 150 developers, coding and building apps split into two dozen teams. They got some technical tutoring and some advice from a special guest, Facebook COO Sheryl Sandberg. For Facebook, you know, we want to make the world more open and connected, more social, more personal, more real, friendlier. We want to bring real relationships together so that we can all um, work towards a better world together. And so for us, it's super exciting uh, to partner with Gates. Top apps are divided into three categories, college, social learning, and out-of-school study. Facebook and Gates Foundation reps and some big-name investors serve as judges. The winners split $15,000 in cash prizes. For the Gates Foundation, it's about finding students where they are. The data show that nearly all teens are internet users, no surprise, um, and that actually almost 100% of kids who are using social media are on Facebook. The goal of HackEd is to develop Facebook apps that make the college-going process easier, helping students find everything from financial aid to academic support. When we look at this program, the thing that's really important is that these young people are finding really good educational content on Facebook so that they're not just interacting with their friends in a social capacity, but they're also moving their educations forward. For today's crowd, a mix of techies and educators, the prizes are a good draw, but win or lose the chance to collaborate with Facebook from the inside is worth the effort. I think, and I'm biased of course, but I think the best ideas often come from rooms like this, from people like you in this room having teachers and students and people who can code, and people who understand social media and the power of connection and sharing together. That's a really unique opportunity, and a lot of the big ideas in our world start with one person, one team, one group of couches sitting together. And Facebook is holding another education hackathon at its London offices later this month. You know, it's interesting to see Sheryl Sandberg speaking so passionately about education, given all of this speculation after her book Lean In about what her next step after Facebook might be. Any clues here, you think? We want to play some additional commentary on the education market, the view of Sheryl Sandberg. Listen to this. I don't think it's possible to overstate what a crisis we have on education in this country. Not possible. That when you think about our present and our future, you think about equity, you think about fairness, you think about the fact that our country's future will be determined by the education level of our children, it's impossible, in my view, not to see how we're failing. I don't know. Sounding a little bit like a politician. I'm there. sure the speculation will continue.